The Array command can also be used to create copies that are organized into columns and rows. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a rectangular array. On my screen, I've got an architectural example. This is a drawing of a hotel meeting room. As you can see, the room is essentially empty. I do have a table over here with two chairs for the presenters. And over here, I've got a small table and three chairs for the audience. Now, I would like to fill this room with tables and chairs. And since my copies are going to be arranged into rows and columns, this is a perfect opportunity to create a rectangular array. The array command is located in the Modify panel of our ribbon. When I launch the tool, it brings up the array dialog box. Notice there are two different array types, rectangular and polar. We are going to create a rectangular array since our copies will fall into a rectangular pattern. I'm going to come down and click the Select Objects button, and I'll select the objects I'd like to copy. I'm going to create a crossing window and grab this table and the three chairs. And I'll right-click. Now, how many rows do I want? Take a look at the icon. Rows run horizontally on our screen. I'm going to move this dialog box over. I believe I can fit three rows. So we'll set this to three, and I'll click in the column field. Take a look at my preview over on the right side of the dialog box. This gives me a rough idea of what my array is going to look like. For right now, I'm going to stick with four columns. Let's come down and look at row and column offset. First of all, row offset. I would like my tables to meet edge to edge. So you would think the row offset would be zero. Notice that's not the case. What this value essentially means is how far do you want to copy this object up to create your next row. Since my table is 6 feet 9 inches, I'm going to set my row offset to 6 feet 9 inches, and then my tables will touch edge to edge. Now column offset. How far do I want to copy this geometry over to create my next column? Well, I can see the distance from the front edge of the table to the back of the chairs is 3 feet. Maybe I'd like 3 feet of walking space between the columns. So I'm going to set my column offset to 6 feet. Let's come down and click Preview. Now that doesn't look too bad. Take a look at my command line. Notice I'm in preview mode right now. If I like the array the way it is, I can right click to accept it. If I'd like to make some changes, I can hit the escape key on my keyboard to bring back the dialog box. I'm going to hit the escape key because I'd like to add one more column. Let's change this to five and I'll click preview again. There we go. That looks perfect. I'm happy with the array. I'm going to right click to accept it. As you can see, the Array command is yet another way to create copies of your geometry. It's the perfect tool to use when your copies are arranged in a predefined pattern. 